How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flynn's Plays and my big sister. A subway station? Where's home? Zombie? I remember this place. I used to come here all the time. When I was upset. You did? Why were you upset for? I just get like that sometimes. I can't explain it. So you're depressed? Yes. I'm not even surprised by your intelligence anymore. Lucia, I've been like this for a very long time. Does mom know? No. I don't like to share this with anyone. But you told me. Who else have you told? Just my therapist. I basically tell him everything. But he doesn't help. Isn't he supposed to? I guess, but he... Look, never mind. You can tell me? I, I can't. I'm sorry, Lucia. I just need some time to myself, please. Okay. I'm going to do some exploring. Do you remember where the exit is? I can't remember right now. Okay. But don't go anywhere. You can be depressed here, okay? Lucia. Lighten up, zombie. It's just a joke. I'll be back soon. Okay. So, a little, little bit we learned about zombie. Uh, platform 12's over here. Oh, hello. The sign says die. Huh? What was that? It says die in the in blood on the wall. I think we shouldn't go that way. It's locked and won't budge. Okay. Got a vending machine? Oh, I'm so hungry. Hey, there's something in the tray. It's a candy bar. A very old candy bar. Yuck. Maybe Sompy will eat it. <laughs> Maybe the demon sister of ours will eat the, old, eat the old rotten candy bar. What's this? I could enter through here if I were a lot smaller. I need to find something to widen the gap. Oh, oh well, I mean... Little jacket's not anywhere around anymore. It's locked. So recording this a lot cooler. Not uh, not too hot anymore in the office. So back to platform one. Is that is this a platform twelve? Ooh, another tray, another candy bar. Oh, am I hungry? Too bad I don't need the money. Oh, never mind. Guess I can't do that one. There's some elevators too. It's a long way down. A long way down. But it smells like chocolate. Ew, okay, I don't think I want to worry about that. Let's give the game a save here while we have some time. We can give Salmi the candy bar now and see if she wants that. Or we can go adventure off to the right too. Game saved. Sweet. Uh, let's try giving the candy bar so we can cheer up a little bit. Candy bar. Oh, I can't talk to her. Okay. Never mind that idea. Okay, another vending machine over here. Let's check this out. Trash can, don't care. Can't even interact with ooh, can't even interact with that vending machine there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What is that in the trash can? Can't interact with that. Sink. It's another sink. There's a loose pipe here. It could be useful. We just broke a sink. Okay. Glad we did that. Glad we glad oh wait, uh loose pipe. I believe you use that uh can't even open those doors up. So loose pipe means we might be able to open up that uh that gap a little bit wider. That's good. I like this game because the puzzles aren't overly difficult. They're pretty much once you know once you find the item, you're good to go. But it's it's cute the way it works. Metal pipe. I'll use this to pry open the window. There we go. Windows open. I'm inside. I could just unlock the door now. Okay, just did that. Cool. Trash can? No. Clock? No. Computer. Interact with the computer? I don't know why I came here. There we go. It's an old computer. At least it still works. What's this? Gate control. We must open the gate next door. But it says it needs power. Backup generator located in the basement. Access the basement basement via elevator. How am I supposed to use an elevator without power? Oh. That is an interesting question. Hmm. Maybe one of the elevators is working now that we got that done or something? Can I hit the button? It's not working. I wonder where it goes. And then we got this one. It's a long way down, a long way down, but it smells like chocolate. What if I, can I use the candy bar? Yes, I can. This seems so stupid. Wait, what is that sound? Oh, hello, what are you? Can you talk? Can you understand me? 
Okay. I need to reach the basement. Is there a way down? You want this? Well, could you do me a favor? I need to turn on the backup generator. Hey, where did you go? Oh, he's gonna go turn it on for us in return for the candy bar. What's that sound? Hey, you did it. Here you go, you deserve it. I like the little ghost boy. Oh, he's so nice. He lets me, he, he takes candy bars and does favors. Oh, cool, the door's open now. Okay, now we have power. I'm sorry, we just saw a ghost and it says die on the wall. Do we really want to... We came in and talked about that. We came in and talked about that die. Oh, boy. Who? What are you? Boop! Eek! Another one to play with. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? I asked first. Well, you're cheeky, aren't you? I am Virginia, but everyone calls me Verd. Everyone? Yes. I have friends, you know. So, what are you doing here? My sister and I are trying to get home. We just got off the train. Train? Trains haven't come through here this way. So, uh, trains haven't come through this subway for ten years. Wait. How can you see me right now? You're alive? I I don't know. So you're a ghost, huh? I'm not a ghost. I'm a girl. I'm just a dead girl. What is your name? <laughs> My name is Luzia, I think. Luzia? I know who you are. You know me already? Yes. You're the one that did this to us. What? Me? Yes, you witch. I'm no witch. Thanks to you, we're all stuck in limbo. What are you talking about? Don't act dumb with me. You're the red witch. What? That's not true. That's impossible. You are. You're just... A little girl? That's because I am not the witch. All of us studies know you are. To obtain one's true desire, the red witch will conspire. You cannot lie to me. But I'm not me. I'm, am I really the witch? Why does everyone hate me? Because you left us all in purgatory. It's this godforsaken loop. The loop? Did I create the loop? You don't know your own story? Damn, you really did lose your mind. I, I don't remember anything. The last thing I remember is waking up. I couldn't sleep, so I went to find Sombria. Hey, I know Sombria. She's the girl that comes here to cry. To cry? She said she comes here when she's depressed? Yeah, she does depress a lot. Hehe. <laughs> Why did I create this loop? To punish us. You put all of us in purgatory. All for your sister's sake. My sister? What are you talking about? Do you know why your sister comes here all the time? Because she's depressed? Uh huh. No. All of us have a tragic story of how he died. Your sister is looking for hers too. No, zombie. You create the loop to trap her and all of us here. Just so you could keep her alive. Just let her die. So we all can. I, I can't. You don't understand. She's my sister. I don't understand. I'm already dead. I can't move on. We all have to make choices yet we don't like. What could happen if she did? We could all move on. The loop would be broken. I have a hard choice to make. You owe us. We've suffered a lot longer than you have. Please. I need to speak to Sombria. I'll, I'll be back. Well, I ain't going nowhere. Thanks to you. Okay. So yeah, I do feel like we are the Red Witch and somehow we like created the loop. What is this? Okay, cool. We're just gonna we're just gonna allow this piece of uh, plastic tape to stop us. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Weird how to do that. Let's see. Can we talk to her? Okay. I, I gotta go through her. Uh, I I can't really talk to her. Okay. Well, we'll go talk to Sombria and see what. Oh, that was weird. The expert point showed up for a second. Uh, so we'll talk to Sombria and see if she's aware of anything interesting here. I was going to say, please don't let the game crash. Uh, and she's gone. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's great. Where is she at? Oh, she's in the, she's in the bathroom. Okay. 
Maybe that's where the exclamation point was showing up at before. Zombie? I can hear you in there. I need to talk to you. Please, leave me alone. You know I can't do that, right? You're my big sister. I'm supposed to be around you to be annoying. You don't understand, Luzia. You will never understand. But Zombie, I do understand. I understand what it's like to be alone, to have no one, to have no life left to live. That's why I made the loop. You just say, wait, what? I know who I really am now. I am the one who caused all this. You can't be. I made this loop to protect you. To protect me from what? From killing yourself. Killing myself? It's starting to make sense now. Sambia, this is the place where you die. You are not my sister. I was scared. I was scared that I might lose you. I was never going to. I was going to chicken out. Sometimes we don't chicken out. I know I can't stop you, even though I tried to. I know this is not my choice. It's yours. I can't save you, but I can help you. We still have a shot to break the loop. You need to trust me. Please? I... Okay. We need to do this together. I think you are right about what you said before. About what? That this feels like someone else's problem. I don't know what is going to happen. But I want you there when something does. Luzia, thank you. For everything. So are you coming? In a minute. I sort of need to go while I'm in here anyway. Okay. I'll meet you at the exit. Oh. I found this doll. Do you want it? It looks old, though. Just slides it through the small, minuscule gap. I should probably just chucked it over the side. Okay, so we got creepy doll. An old plush doll. It has markings on inappropriate places. Oh. So that's going back to the therapy thing. And I think that... So yeah, I think what was happening was... Um, uh, Sombri was getting assaulted by her, her therapist. Which is what caused uh, some of the... Or... Which, what she means by he wasn't able to help. I'm going to give her the doll, I think. So, what's it going to be, Which I've made my decision end. I'm going to break the loop. Really? I'm going to be free from this nightmare? Yes, we all will. Including my sister. What? No. Please. We have suffered enough. I don't know if I am the one who made the loop. But I do know that I am the one to end it. Let her die! It's the only way! No. There is another. I know there is. Fine! Just leave us here! You witch! Verd. Go away! I have a doll for you. Do you want this doll? Can it, will this doll help you? Before I go, I thought you may want your doll back. M Molly? Where did you find her? My sister found her. I lost her over 10 years ago. I died trying to find her. I fell into the tracks. How did you know she was mine? I know what it's like to lose someone special. It's a special sense you get. Thank you. We're just like you, trying to find a way home. It looks like I was told a lie. Huh? The noodle lady was wrong about you. The noodle lady? She talks about the story of the Red Witch all the time. She never mentioned you to be so nice. The noodle lady told you I was the Red Witch? She said only the Red Witch can break the loop. But to break it, she must spill the blood of her sister. Um, sorry for how I acted back there. I've forgotten that I was once alive. I will break the loop, I promise. Good luck, Luz. Huh? What is it? There's that laugh again. We... Good luck, Luzia. Hmm? What laugh? She unlocked the truth finally revealed. Um, okay, so the noodle lady keeps saying that I'm the Red Witch to all the other ghosts, which to me implies that the noodle lady is spreading vicious rumors about us that I do not appreciate, and it's very rude to talk trash on someone like that. But um, because of the fact that she's saying this, I'm thinking it's not accurate that we are the Red Witch, and I think that we are still trying to break the loop, and she's trying to manipulate it into keeping the loop going so that maybe so she doesn't die or she doesn't lose her daughters. And if that is the case, we should be able to break the loop pretty quickly. 
what's up, Sombria? You done peeing or pooping or whatever you're doing in there? What did I have to do? What was it that one they want me to do to end it? Can I go on in the trucks? No, I can't. Probably for the best. I'd probably just get mortarized. Uh, is the little dude there? It smells like chocolate. Nope. Not there. Not working. I wonder where it goes. Huh. Where did she want me to go again? What about back here? I can hear her laughing. Okay. Who are you? Don't you remember me? You're me? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm actually Luzia, thank you very much. You're just the cranky old lady. What are you talking about? We want to play games, huh? I love to play games. How about truth or dare? What? Truth or dare? Okay, okay, truth. Playing it safe, huh? Okay. <laughs> Have you ever kissed a boy? No. Ah, okay, your turn. Truth or dare, huh? What you gotta do now? I I don't know. I didn't think this far enough. Well, I dare you to kill me. Come on, kill me. No, kill yourself. Uh oh. Truth. Why are you naked? Because I've got nothing to hide. Truth. Wait, isn't it my turn? We've all had enough turns at this game. I want you to end it. Truth. How do I end the loop? Kill the Red Witch. Truth. Who is the Red Witch? Luzia. Dare. Kill me. Please. For Sombria. Why is that your answer? Sombria has suffered enough for me. Ever since I was little, all I ever did was get in her way and interrupt her life. I don't deserve someone like her. Go home. Huh? Just go. Now. Self-sacrifice. Your mother was pathetic in giving you my name. I did what was possible to keep my daughters alive. But you're not going to take them away from me. Ah! <laughs> I was right! Oh, she's trying to keep the loop going so she can keep her daughters alive. Which is actually interesting because she said your mother was uh, pathetic in giving you my name. The noodle lady is the red witch who is also Luzia. She has the same name as our character. That's interesting. Oh, that is that is a, that is a twist that I wasn't really expecting too much. That one got me pretty good. Are you still in here? No, you're you're done. Oh, you're over there. How did I get over? How do you get over there? Oh, I probably just go across the thingy over here. All right, let me just give it a bibbity boppity save point. Oh, okay, now this is actually making a lot more sense because this this game is like really cool about the fact that it gives you information but doesn't give you everything you need to understand everything. And I I like that in games a lot. Oh, can't go that way. How do I get out of here? Uh, looks like I gotta go around, maybe? Maybe I go this way? Okay, yeah, I think I go this way. Oh, she's gone. Yeah, this is where I go. Live. Perfect. Perfect. Found her. Can I, can I talk to her? Or no. Nope, okay. Just not even gonna, not even gonna try to talk to our sister? Got it. Let's just continue on out of the subway. Break or strengthen? We're home. It's finally over. Or is it? The truth lies in the reflection of my name. Okay. We made it. Zombie, we're finally home. Yes, we did. It's good to finally see home again. And now we can stop this cursed loop and bring you back to normal. Right? I guess so. Are you feeling alright, Luzia? I feel great, just like Pickles. Why, aren't you feeling good too? Oh, I am, but you seem different. 
You seem normal? Um, what are you talking about? I've always been normal. You seem less intelligent than before. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Are you calling me dumb? No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Well, you're ugly and stupid. And you look like a freak. Maybe I am just a freak after all. Wow, Luzia. Jesus. Oh, man, Luzia. That's right. Run. What just happened? A complete 180 from from everything we just learned in this game from, about, about our sisters. About the sisters. But I hope you guys are enjoying this series. It seems like this is going to wrap up in the next episode. Might be a shorter episode, but I do want to break this up because this is all leading up to this. And also, recording kills my voice, so I need to make sure I drink plenty of water. But if you guys are enjoying this series, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And make sure you're subscribed to get updates for this new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flynn's Plays and My Big Sister. We're about to walk into our house for the first time in possibly 10 years. Where'd she go? The big crybaby. And Luzia suddenly is acting like a huge asshole. And I, I just cursed within the first 30 seconds, so this video is probably going to get demonetized. That's enough imagination for me. Or television, I don't know what it said, actually. Either way. Not something I care about. Noodle Lady. AKA, I think that's the other Luzia. Hey, what are you doing in our house? Oh, me? I thought I'd drop by just to see if you two made it back all right. It took a while, but we made it. So, where's your sister? Zombie? Probably crying in a room. Serves her right for calling me dumb. Now that's not very sisterly, is it? I don't care. She should be nice to me. Yes, she should. That's right. She should. It's not like she thanked me for helping her get home or anything. And it was me who did everything. Maybe we should try and mind her of your efforts, Elusia. Yes, but how? Just tell her how ungrateful she was for your help. That's what that she just got in your way. Yes, she's going to get it. Don't do that. Oh my god. Oh, Elusia, don't do that. <laughs> the toaster. I remember when Sambia caught her hands. Wow, that's not even funny anymore. Did she catch her hands in the toaster? Pretty dark outside. Uh, can we go out the... Oh. I can hear something. It sounds like someone calling my name. Should I call it back? Uh, there's a hatch in the bathroom. It's the basement door. It's locked, but the door looks like it's going to fall off anyway. The screws and the hinges are loose. <gasps> I know where there's a screwdriver. Call back to the first episode. Oh, boy. It's upstairs. You can also see if Savi is in her, in her room. Uh, she might not be. But there's nothing here. My uncle's lucky screwdriver. It could be useful. Say your prayer, screws. Finally grab that. The payoff from episode one. I'll let her stay in there until she wants to be nice to me. Besides, besides it's locked anyway. And awfully quiet. Okay. So what I think happens is that we get into Zombie's room. She's already committed suicide, and we—I've already—I'm definitely demonetized after saying that. <laughs> and um, we, okay, there we go. And we decide to reset the time loop so we can try to fix it. Oh, hello. What's going on? Is someone there? Hello. Uh, okay. L Luzia, is that really you? What are you? It's me. Please remember, it's me. Mom? Yes, my sweetheart. Mom? What happened to you? This is going to sound strange to you, but your sister did this. She created this place, these people, these stories. This is all Zombie's fault? Yes and no. See, your sister is a very special girl. So I'm not special? You girls are very special to me. 
I mean, Sombri is a witch. Sabi's the Red Witch. Yes. How do you know that? All this time I thought I was. You've, you've been speaking to the Noodle Lady, haven't you? Yes, how do you know that? It's the loop. Everything that you've seen, heard, and felt. They're all just distractions. What do you mean? It's Sombri's emotions, her imagination. She created all of it. But why? Because she's... Depressed? Right? Yes. I've tried to talk to her, but she won't listen to me. I tried to break the loop myself, but I failed. That's why I'm here. But you still have a chance, Lucia. Why me? I haven't been myself lately. Because you two are sisters, Lucia. For someone, for some reason, you both can understand each other. I can't explain it, but you two have a special connection with each other. You share each other's thoughts, emotions, and imagination. I guess parents just don't get it. But Lucia, you have to kill Sombria. But I can't. It's the only way, Lucia. Please, I would, I would have it any other way. But this is the only way. I, I can't kill my sister. You have to, Lucia. Please, it will bring everything to peace, even your sister. How do I know you're not lying to me? You were never there when we needed you. Lucia, I did everything I could for you girls. I even risked my own life to save Sombria. I've sacrificed myself to make sure you both have a life. Please, you have to trust me. But how did I kill her? I left you a clue under Sombia's door. I'm not sure if you got it earlier, so I put it in the refrigerator. Please, do this for Sombria. I... I I know. I can't make up your mind for you. That's for you to decide, and you only. Just promise me something, Luzia. Yes, Mommy? Never forget that I love you both so very much. I won't, I promise. Mom? Mom! How long was she chained up in the basement for? It's questions I have for that. It's Mom's gardening shovel. Mom. Okay, cool, I got it. I was gonna say, I better get, I, be, I better be able to pick that up. I mean, it's kinda, can't interact with her. Uh, give, give mom the shovel? Give mom's corpse the shovel? Nope, can't do that. Alright, well, I guess back up we go. We're gonna hit the refrigerator and, oh, she's gone. But we're gonna check the refrigerator for that clue for zombie. There's a picture on, on here. Okay, wait, hold on, I didn't actually get to look at that too well. So, it looks like it's- she stopped making it go so fast. Oh, Noodle Lady. You're sick, my darling? You took your time in there. Yes, I was sick. My poor darling. Once you're done up there, I will make you a bowl of noodles. Okay. Is there something wrong, Lucia? You seem shaken. Who, me? I'm fine. Well, okay, if you say so, I'll wait here until you return. I just want to say thanks for helping me understand Sombria. Oh, you're very welcome, my dear. I know what I have to do. Yeah, let's get the thingy from outside. It was over this way. It looked like. Here? Yeah, right here. Bust out that shovel. Minecraft it up. What did I just do? It's the butcher's knife? There's some writing on the handle. Good luck, kid. Butcher. He <laughs> trusts me with knives now. <laughs> Alright, so we got the butcher's knife. And I think there was another item over here. Oh, never mind. Can't really go up the... Oh, I can't here now. It looked like there might have been another thing around here. Maybe? There's trash cans. Can I interact with these? What's this? Another bobby pin? Why does Sombi need to keep those balls of hair up? Oh, okay, so that's gonna that's actually how I get into Zombie's room. I could just wanted the thingy look like there's another mark up there, but I guess not. I'm just I'm just wrong. Alright, let's go back inside the house. I have a key. I have a way to get into our room. I got the knife I need. Let's pick that lock. Oh, don't want the knife. I'll let her stay in there until she wants to be nice. Besides, it's locked anyway and awfully quiet. Okay, bobby pin. Hey, zombie? I just wanted to check on you. Yep. I kind of figured that was going to be the outcome.
just yeah. Achievement unlocked the loop. Oh my god, that's the end of it? Oh no. So I don't know if that's a good ending or a bad ending. I know there's I think there are multiple endings. Okay everyone, so I couldn't really let this go off with a bad note like that. So I want to try to get the good ending at least. And since it does have a chapter select, it wasn't that bad to get back to this area. Uh, but so far I've got the bobby pin and, and the knife. Uh, I've already gone through all the cutscenes of the Mom and everyone like that. So I'm going to go back downstairs. I'm going to take the knife and I cut into cut into the Mom. Dot dot dot. And we have now Mom's heart. Mom's heart, why did you do this? Okay. So that's one of the secret items to get a good ending because she said that mom she says this later on let's go to her take the knife and we start getting stabby hey can i ask you something who me yes you you can ask me anything my dear okay truth or dare what this isn't the time to be playing game truth or dare fine truth who are you I've told you before. I am Yokona Kagam. You're lying again. Luzia, you shouldn't be putting your nose into it. You seem so eager to play this game with me before, so play with me now. Who are you? I'm Luzia. Sombri is conscious. I'm an older envision of you, but a far better one. Truth or dare? Wait, don't I get a turn? Haven't you had enough turns at this game? Truth or dare? Truth. Why am I so different now? Haven't you noticed anything lately? Now that your mother is gone, your personality will change back to its stupid old self. Your pathetic mother's spirit was infused with yours. Until she died, haha. <laughs> she failed to break the loop. Now you will follow in her footsteps. Truth or dare? Enough of this pathetic game. Your time is up, Luzia. Truth or dare? Dare. What are you gonna do about that? I dare you. I dare you. What? What do you dare me to do? I dare you to listen to my little secret. A secret? <laughs> Is that all? Okay, Luzia. What's your secret? Thank you. Ooh. Right in the chest. Oof. For telling me the truth. Finally. Okay. So now that she's dead and the mother's... We got the mother's heart. I believe I should be able to do this. Uh, if we interact with the mirror now, it's a mirror. Okay, so I can type in Ashina. Ah, you call my name. It seems my mother was wrong. You are the smart one, not Luzia. Now that we're finally meeting, would you like to see something? I can show you the true ending to this story. Are you ready? Then kill my mother and save Sombria. Okay, I did that all. Killed the mother. So yeah, that's how you get. Her, that's how you get told to kill the mother. And then save Sombria, I think, with the mother's love, which is the heart. But I want to actually save the game once more because uh, I had an issue before where it crashed again. I already played through the killing the old lady part. And then it's like, oh, okay, you use the knife. Can't get the heart. So now we should be able to go upstairs. And she's super dead. Can't interact with her anymore. Yep, she's, she's turbo dead. All right. I don't know if this is going to be locked or not. I'll let her stay in there. She wants to be nice to me besides the locked anyway and awfully quiet. Oh, please don't tell me this is still going to be her. Hey, zombie? I just wanted to check on you. Okay, thank God. Ooh, we got a good ending this time. Zombie? She's gone. She told you, didn't she? She told you everything. She did. So what are you going to do now? I have to do what is right. Then do it. Okay. Huh? Where are you going? I'm going to bed. It's late. What do you mean it's late? Why won't you kill? Because I don't have to. I may be 12, but I can tell when the story is done. I'll see, I'll see you in the morning. But how? Dot dot dot. Sombria? Huh? She doesn't know, does she? No. What? She doesn't know? How many times has she been in this godforsaken loop? She needs to wake up. You know she won't. She 
She needs to die. Wait, is that what you saw in the tunnel, Sombria? You know, you cannot save her. I could try. She saved me, remember? Besides, she's my sister. Oh, and that's why, and that's why Mr. Gustav had a drinking problem. Mom said she would be here soon. I don't see what's taking her so long. She works here. Mm, who am I kidding? You can't hear me anyway. Excuse me, dearie. Hmm? Can you please keep it down? I'm waiting for my daughters to arrive and I can't hear them. I'm sorry. I'll keep my voice down for you. Thank you. Oh, so the new old lady was just another patient in the, in the hospital. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm actually playing a zombie now. Can't go that way. Okay, this is actually interesting. I didn't know I'd be able to play a zombie. Cool. Oh, I can... Oh my god! Okay, so there's Yellow Jack. Ye yellow Jacket. There's Ashina. The therapist. Um, That's the two sisters. Oh, that's the dude from... Uh, the thing. Oh my god, I love this ending. Ah, uh, Zabria, my darling. How's the little one? She's getting much better. The doctor said she could wake up any time now. That's grand news, young one. I wish all the best for your younger sibling. Thanks, Gustav. How's everything with you? Well, so far, everything's good. I've cut back the drinking, and I can return to work next week. Well, maybe. That's still good news. I wish the best for you. I hope you can drive those trains again soon. Thank you, young one. You're a very nice girl, and I'm sure your sister will be fine. Thank you. Now, time for a little... <sighs> nap. Oh, this is so cool. We get to run into all the characters. They're stretched! Hey, remember me? Oh, yes. Y'all Samboro, right? Actually, it's Sombria. But that was a pretty good guess. I'm sorry about that. I don't usually come in here. Well, only to use the vending machine. The one at the ho hotel is... I know, I know, it's broken. You say that every day when you come here. I come here every day? Yep, every break you have. I notice that you never buy anything from the machine. W what do you mean? I buy snacks from the machine all the time. Okay, okay, mister, I'm not making it obvious. Just make sure you don't stare at my butt for too long. Was I really that obvious? I'm so sorry. It's fine. I've known for a while now. I feel like an idiot. I should hide in a closet somewhere. And never come out. Well, maybe you should, but then you wouldn't be able to see my butt. I promise I won't look at it anymore. You can look at it whenever you want. But next time, just talk to me. It's a much better way to break the ice. Okay, thanks, Sombria. I was kind of hoping his eyes would track to, to Sombria's butt, <laughs> but... Also, how old was Stretch and how old? Hey, can I ask you something? Uh, sure. Who does your hair? It's so cute. Uh, thanks. My mom does it for me. It's a traditional look, apparently. She looks more like a big mouse. I don't know why you want to look like her, Ashina. I was going to say, this is the two sisters. Don't mind her, she's just jealous. More like you're jealous. Yeah, right. The only thing I would be jealous about is that you're taller than me. She has really nice legs, you know. See? Jealous. Yes, I know, you both fight about this every day. You girls visiting your mother again? Yes. No. How come your mother is a lot older than you two? Well, she's not really our mother. She's our grandmother. Our mother died and she just took over. You can thank her for that. She died giving birth to her. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. We have a new mother now. Yeah, what's left of her, that is. I'll catch up with you two later. Okay, talk to you later. I still love your hair. <laughs> oh, and there's... Oh, there's, um... Mudo. Oh, that was... I love this. There's so many little, like, oh, it's so cute. I love it. Oh, there's, there's the girl with the dolly. Oh, and then I don't remember who this, that guy was, but I'm sure he was, oh, he's the butcher. That's a cute doll you have there. Hey, hey thanks. Your name's Molly. Eh, I know, Verd. Now, don't you lose her again. I won't, Sombria. Please, call me Zombie. Lucy always does. How is Lucy? She's been here for a long time now. She's doing really well. I hope. I'm sure she'll wake up soon. Then she can play with me and Molly. Want to play tea party? Sorry, Bird. I've got stuff to do. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad I'm replaying this and getting the good ending. Hey, Soms, how's it going? Not so good. 
Still worried about Lucia, eh? She's a tough kid. She'll be alright. I hope so. Still, seeing the psychologist? Got no choice. Either this or jail. What did you do to win that deal? Tried to rob a gas station with a butcher's knife and, and a mask. But I couldn't do it in the end. Why not? Scared the kid standing next to me. I just couldn't do it after I saw her cry. So I gave her a candy bar and waited for the cops. At least he did the right thing. Yeah, I guess. Are you seeing him today? Nah, I don't really want to see him anymore. I don't blame you. The guy's a creep. Anyway, I'll probably be ready to go in soon. Well, good luck in there. Thanks. I'll catch you later, Psalms. Oh, okay. I probably don't want to go in there. Um, It's so cute seeing all the characters as like real people and not the twisted versions. I love it. Is there anything else around here? The stairs going down. This thing is creepy. That was the uh the the forest spirit that we give noodles to. Can you go outside? I can go outside. What do I do outside? Okay. Oh, I can smoke. Uh okay, cool. It's so peaceful outside. What a quiet night though. They seem to be getting longer. It feels like she has been in that coma for years. Forever. I just need a sign. Anything. Please. It's getting way too cold out here now. I better head inside. What a quiet night, though. Huh? Oh. I thought there was an extra point. Oh, my God. What the hell? What's going on? What happened here? Oh, my God. What? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Goose or stretches in the vending machine. Oh, God, what the hell happened? Oh. Oh, okay. The butcher's there. Is she okay? It's a giant doll. Oh, never mind. She's got... She's a doll. What the fucking hell happened to you? Oh, Yellow Jacket lost his head, too. Oh, Mudo even got uh, mutilated slightly. Oh, my God. Hold up. I'm confused. Can I can we talk about what this is here on the screen right above zombie? What is what is going on with that? I don't like that face one bit. Oh, this isn't good. I don't like this. Oh. Oh no. Thank God you're okay. Who did this? Please. Huh? Help me. She unlocked only eyes can tell the truth. Oh, she woke up. Oh, please tell me that was a good ending. Okay. I think that was actually the, the good ending. Oh, no, that was actually not one of the good endings. Uh, I guess I smoked on the wrong side of the thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's play this again to get the actual good ending. I'm going to go back to the part where uh, Sombria smokes, and then we'll jump right to there. Okay, back at it again. Now we're going to smoke on this side, since we're right next to the ashtray. Christ, I needed that. It's getting too cramped in there. We need to go home, Lucia. I know you can pull through. I just want us to forget this ever happened. I can't. It'll haunt me till the day I die. Just please be alright, Lucia. So I'm wondering if she got involved in an accident. I better see how Lucia's doing. Although I already know nothing has changed, and maybe it never will. So, oh, okay, cool. Everything's back to normal. If I talk, can I talk to anyone new? If I talk to, like, the butcher, is it the same stuff? So I'm wondering if something changed because it smoked. Hey, Sam's how's it going? Not good, blah, blah, blah. We know this, yep. Yep, we're still, we went, went through all this stuff, so it's not a big deal. We'll go check on Lucia and see if she's okay now. I'm guessing I'm guessing this hopefully should be the good ending. The one where Lucia doesn't go on some kind of telepathic killing spree. That was weird. Hmm? So zombie? <gasps> hmm? Lucia? Can you please keep it down? I'm trying to listen out for my Oh shut up yourself, old cave bat. Your daughters are already here. <laughs> they are? Zombie? Yes, Elysia, I'm here. We need to go home. 
Yes, we do, and now we can. I can't believe you're... We need to go home. Oh, no, no. No, 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 Luzia, don't go, please. <laughs> huh? Psych. <laughs> oh my god, but how? She disconnected the lead. Oh, I've been awake for the last couple of days now. I just unplugged my heart machine cord thingy. <laughs> she removed the EKG leads. Arr! Jeez, zombie, take it easy. It's just a prank. A prank? I'll show you a prank. Can you please keep it? If you open your mouth again, I will choke you with your fluid cord. Zombie, calm down. I'm, I'm sorry, Lucia. I was really scared. Scared of what? That you wouldn't wake up. Duh, that's what happens after you sleep. You wake up. Lucia, I want to say I'm sorry for everything. I just wanted to show Mom I can be responsible. And it seems like I failed both of you. It's not your fault, zombie. It is, Lucia. Because of me, you will never walk again. That's because I'm lying down, you dummy. I guess they haven't told you yet. Oh, wait. I know what you're talking about. The doctor said I'll be fine. It was just a scratch. Can you believe it? This is too good to be true. Yeah, he thought I was someone else. The nurse gave him the wrong files. Oh, and they gave me cake to say sorry. <laughs> you got paid off with cake. Why doesn't everybody tell me anything? Hey, pipe down. You'll upset Granny next door. I'm sorry. I just can't believe this all happened. Right under my nose. Hey, can we get some waffles? I've got a bad craving for some waffles. Okay, sure. I'll see the nurse about your discharge. Oh, and I got Chima unlocked. Every story has a happy ending. Oh, happily ever after. Oh, this, she made it. I love it. I love my little sister so much. Thank you, Lucia. Oh, I, I'm so glad I played this back. Got the good ending. It was so good. It's been a while since we've been here. Where are my damn waffles? Hey, take it easy, tiger. I need waffles. Sorry, sis, but I've been in a coma for like forever. Okay, okay. I see you're back to your normal self again. No, I'm back to my hungry self. Where are these damn waffles? Hey, Luzia, can I show you something after breakfast? It's sort of my secret place to chill out. It's not a boring place, is it? No way, it's got everything. A swing, a great view, and big old tree. Does it have dinosaurs? Well, no. And it doesn't have everything. <sighs> Little sis, I've missed you. And I've missed you too, Sami. And your long arms. Huh? Oh yeah, duh, because the whole thing. Oh, and this is so freaking cute. So, what do you think? Think of what? This place. It's pretty neat. It has a swing after all. Well, at least you're enjoying yourself. This is my secret place. I usually come here to chill out, but I can't anymore. How come? Because I have to babysit you, silly. But now we can enjoy it together. Hey, zombie? Hmm? Who are all these people? What people? All the people at the hospital. They said goodbye to you when we were leaving. Oh, they were just the regulars. I've been visiting you every day, so I got to know them. Huh. The funny thing is, I th is though, hmm? they were all in my dream, but they weren't people. They were ghosts. That's the imagination girl watches too much TV. Hey, at least I have an imagination. Yours would just be about boys and depressing music, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Speaking of boys, you still seeing that loser? Jeez, when did you learn all these fancy words? And no, I caught him making out with another girl in the back of his truck. Doesn't he move furniture in that? He did, until I rang his boss. Kissing in a truck. Ew, ew, that's gross. Lucia, don't ever change. I won't, but only if we can stay up late and watch some scary movies. Well, okay. Just don't tell mom. Oh, Damn, okay. Just music came out of nowhere. Okay, so I actually had this whole thing about the game um, during the first time I got the credits and I actually want to change it now because I like this the, the true ending seemed to 
to fix a lot of the issues I had. Originally, I complained about um, depression being like the end of a game and leading to a character suicide, which we saw in the bad ending, which I'm really glad that was the bad ending and that the good ending wraps everything up. Because I was going to say, there's a lot of things I didn't actually understand, but this cleared a lot of it up. Everything that took place was in Lucia's mind. Um, and then I got the, and then I got the bad, the, got the good bad ending where Lucy was still in the hospital and everyone was dead and that was really confusing. <laughs> but I'm I'm glad I replayed it for to get the good ending. I like this game a lot. Uh, I would really recommend. There's a few other things too that I didn't get. Um, there's another, um, there's another ending that I'm not going to show off, but it involves the mother's heart and killing the new lady, but not typing in Ashina, so it doesn't go to the hospital. There's a there's a whole other thing. Uh, you can check it out yourself. I would actually recommend playing through the game yourself because there's some stuff I probably missed. But there's also, um, you can also, if you really do just want to know the ending, check out other YouTubers. I don't mind. Uh, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this series. It's a really good game. I'm really, I'm really happy about it. Um, I have a few other RPG Maker games that I want to play, but I'm not going to do them side by side by side because I feel like that's a bit too much. Uh, but we're going to move to the next series tomorrow. I hope you guys look forward to that. But if you enjoyed this series, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that, and make sure you're subscribed to you have this really nice new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later.